Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Apple released iOS 9.3 Beta 4 today. So I've been digging around and I've noticed five changes. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what's new, how it's changed, and how it compares to the previous beta. So this wasn't available to me over the air. I actually had to go through iTunes and update. I don't know why I seem to be last on Apple's list when it comes to updating over the air. For iOS 9.2.1, for all these betas, you know, frustrating, but you know, it usually does show up. There's no public beta yet that's expected to drop on Wednesday. So iOS 9.3 beta 4, pretty significant, you know, large update, a lot more inside than beta 3. Now this very well may be the last beta we see for iOS 9.3. Following, you know, a pattern, Apple hasn't really been pushing out beta 5 or beta 6 or even GM versions for a while now. We just see, you know, three to four betas and then boom, it gets released. So very well may be the last beta. All right, let's jump into the features. So the most notable one, is the new change in the control center. So this icon right here is no more. Let's navigate to my Beta 4 device and check this out. It's now a little sunshine lunar eclipse type deal here. So uh, I definitely like it more than the lemon over here, but a lot of people are saying Apple should have kept that little lamp that they had in some of the adverts, which I do like, but I do think this one gets the point through well enough. So a little change right there in the control center. Functionality wise, exact same toggles on uh, both of them. Now, if we go ahead and enable night shift on both of these, and then we navigate over to settings and we're gonna go into accessibility real quick. And in the accessibility settings, if you'll take a look right under speech, if you actually enable grayscale, uh, iOS 9.3 beta 4 will give you a prompt telling you, you know, enabling invert colors or grayscale will automatically disable night shift. So it gives you a little bit of information there. Now, some people actually get a prompt physically. I wasn't able to get that, but it is an option for some people on the newest beta 4. Small change, but it's there. So notably a much smaller difference in the My Music section part of your music library, you know, songs that you take from Apple Music. Instead of having that popularity meter, which will, uh, you know, show you with bars pretty much what you're looking at, they shifted to a different system that'll tell you how popular a song is just with a little star. I think this is a step backwards. I definitely like this popularity meter more. It gives you, you know, a little bit more information than just, hey, this was popular and this one was not. So definitely something I don't think Apple should get rid of. And a much smaller one. So 3D Touch toggle has been changed just like before on the App Store. You know, the purchased one was highlighted and it was a little bit different. So now on health, if you actually go to the new beta four, it's now black instead of a clear background. So slightly different little change there on the actual look of the 3D touch toggle on health. So this next change is highly controversial. Apple took something you know that was special that people liked and they're removing it in the iOS 9.3, made abundantly clear in this latest version, uh, 9.3 beta four, that it will no longer work. It's not a bug, it's a feature removal. So. What is it you say? Well, Apple actually is removing functionality for the Apple Pencil. You will no longer be able to control system dialogue, you know, scrolling between apps, a whole bunch of different things with the Apple Pencil that you can do now, like this, for example, or let's say we go to Safari to manipulate this, to copy text, to manage system dialogue, scroll in here, click things, go back. That will no longer be possible on the new 9.3 beta 4 because Apple is neutering this thing and making it only accessible within Apple applications, you'll be able to click buttons and stuff, but you won't be able to manage system stuff with it anymore, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't make any sort of sense to me, but Apple is getting rid of a lot of functionality with the Apple Pencil in the new 9.3. Huge step backwards, and I think that's unacceptable. Definitely think Apple should bring that functionality back. And here's beta 4 on the left in the Geekbench. So even lower than beta three. This is a pattern I'm not liking here. It keeps getting lower and lower. Hopefully the final one stops this trend. All right, guys, so that's iOS 9.3 beta four. Three steps forward, two steps backwards, which outshadow those three steps forward. I mean, the popularity meter I can live with, but removing functionality on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil, something people bought with some of this functionality in mind, and now you're removing it and not giving us a refund for it. I mean, no. No, please don't do that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick feature overview. As for release, we should be seeing this hopefully March 15th, possibly a few days before, but it's not long now. Just a couple weeks to go and a 9.3 will be here. Finally, we can sleep easier with that new night shift feature, even made better with these toggles here. So uh, have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.